So now I'm going to call on stage a person who's going to show you teleportation. Imagine, I don't think anybody of us expect, expects teleportation to be a reality for another hundred years. But teleportation through mixed reality. So I'm going to call on stage Heman Satyanarayan, who is the founder and CEO of Imaginate India. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks for that, uh, Leslie. You said teleportation in, in, in true reality is 100 years away. So maybe you can discount me on uh, the demo that you would see. So, uh, so what we have is a little different. Um, you know, we obviously couldn't get the whole setup here, but we, don't, we didn't really want to do that either. And yesterday we spent a whole day with just handling the internet connectivity issues. So we're running on a two Mbps line. And uh, so I, we have myself here and my colleague who will be outside. And we will be able to talk to each other uh, you know, through what we think of as scalable teleportation between VR and AR worlds. So uh, you know, I'm going to pray to the BSOD gods and start the demo here. If, if you can hear me, oh, cool. So there's a little bit of lag, about three seconds of lag between what I'm speaking here and what you're hearing. So, but we have Shaker who's already here in my view. So, you know, I set him a time and he's already in the meeting. So let me move around to Shaker and talk to him a bit. So Shaker, hi. Uh, can you help me with what the audience is going to see here, Shaker? Sure, Hemant. So, if you look at uh, you will be able to see a jet engine. Yeah. So, Shaker, can you help me with the jet engine? Sure. So, what do I do with that? Uh, go ahead and uh, uh, I'm going to slide the engine. Are you able to see? Uh, yeah, the engine just moved a little bit. Can you also turn it? Yeah, I'll be able to turn it. Oh, this is so cool. So, uh, is this only you who can turn it? Um, can I also interact no, with it? Even, uh, yes, even you can do that. What okay. you need to do, you need to ask me a permission. There's a, a small orange box right uh, below the engine. Oh, great. Okay, so uh, let me see. Okay. Oh, yeah, I just looked at the orange box. Okay. It's like the power control. What I'll do, I'll go ahead and uh, uh, grant you the permission. You're going to so grant me the permission? Okay, great. So because you're in control of this environment. Yeah. I have granted you the permission. Okay, great. So go ahead and now you'll be able to turn or rotate the engine. Um, I still don't have the power, I believe. Oh yeah, I have it now. Cool. Let me see if I can move this now. Oh, awesome. That's right. So you can control the engine and I can control the engine too. Exactly. And, and you're able to see what I'm seeing, right? Uh -huh. So what else can I do here, Shaker? Uh, we can also uh, uh, see the PowerPoint presentation there. So, so let's just hey, 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 Shaker, to... before you forget, so there's this cool exploding view of engine that we can show, which I saw that was pretty cool in the GE video in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Shall we do that? Then, yep. Okay. Why not? So okay, let's go me... ahead and uh, okay. uh, hit the chat to play. Hey, careful, don't come in the way of those components coming out. Okay. Okay, you're a little behind, so. Awesome. So this is more than a simple teleportation demo that we're showing here. 
So, Shekhar, uh, so what else can we see? Is it only a 3D model that we can see or? As I was telling you a while ago, yeah. we can also go ahead and see the PowerPoint presentation here. Okay. okay. Let's get closer to that uh, presenter. Yeah. I see that up there. What do you see? I see, uh, I see, uh, I mean, you, why don't you tell me so that everyone knows what you're seeing? Okay. Yeah. Sure. Oh, you are. I see that, uh, compatible headsets. Okay. Are we on the same page? Yeah. Yeah. So we are. So, okay. Let me just go ahead and, uh, change this light. Okay. Oh, cool. So that's, uh, I can browse through different slides and maybe I can also do it by myself. Great. So let's move on to the next one. So uh, can, maybe can we also see a video? Okay. Cool. Hey, thanks, Shaker. In the interest of time, I'm going to uh, cut, cut off the demo. Thanks a lot. All right. See you later. See ya. Thank you. Uh, well, I had a backup in case the demo didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to skip it. So, so what we saw was almost a lagless audio conversation. Well, the lag was only with respect to streaming whatever I, was, I had here to the computer there. Right? So that was about three to five seconds of lag. That's, that has nothing to do with us. But I could talk to Shaker on, at my end almost on like one second with a one second lag. And Shaker was using an Airtel connection and I'm here using a, a two Mbps line which the, 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 the hotel managed to give us yesterday thanks to uh, the conference, MTech. Oops, sorry. And then, um, of course, there's a lot of scope for improvement. Ideally, one would expect teleportation to be like what the Microsoft video was, right? Where I can see the, the true person you know, in my world without having to get into the hassle of all those hardware, right? So, so to get there, to get it in a very scalable manner, the way that we think it can be done by having a person to scan himself perhaps through a bunch of pictures right before he enters the meeting and a 3D model of the person is created a realistic avatar, and the person should be able to control the avatar by audio, preferably, so that there's no extra camera which is capturing the person's expressions. And of course, interactions in the real world, uh, you know, that's how we communicate in the real world when there are multiple people around, not just through audio. You know, we interact with physical objects. And customizable content, now, so that's key. And uh, well, it has to be hardware agnostic. So when we talk about VR and AR, the biggest hurdle is that it needs everyone to have a VR headset. So that still is a challenge, and that will be a challenge for about a couple of years to, to, to have VR, I would think, in the consumer industry. Well, it, it works on a, a one to two Mbps internet speed, uh, less than what a Skype HD video call needs. So, so I'm sorry, I'm, I ran out of time because of the demo, but thanks a lot, uh, you know, MIT, uh, Mint, and MTech conference for having me here. I would like to point to my colleague who is virtually here, if he's around here. Yeah, so, so here's Shaker, right? So he's actually outside. Hopefully he looked you know, very similar to what he appears in the real world. Thank you. Hey, Mantan Shaker. So was that cool? Okay.